Does your baby have a painful and itchy eczema rash? Here are two over-the-counter medications that will get your baby the relief they need. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you guys never miss out on any of my pharmacist over-the-counter medication tips. I've got 10 years of experience as a doctor of pharmacy and I'm going to use that expertise to help you choose the right products to treat you and your family. The first product that I'm going to recommend for your baby with eczema is a really good moisturizer. So moisturizers are going to help prevent future itching and they're also going to treat any underlying skin issues that have already popped up. So if your baby has been scratching their skin a lot, that's going to help repair that barrier and it's going to make it heal. Now there are three different ways you can get the moisturizers. So you can get a cream, you can get an ointment, or you can get a lotion. Now my preference is definitely going to be for a cream. So creams lock in a lot of moisture, but they aren't as greasy as an ointment. And lotions, they just really don't lock in as much moisture. So cream is going to be my number one pick for this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your baby take a bath. After your baby is done with a bath, you wanna take them out and you want to apply the moisturizer immediately. You want to lock in as much moisture as possible from that bath and make sure that it's not escaping from the skin. Um, the other point I wanted to note with this is that with babies, you actually don't want to let them bathe for too long. Um, you want it to be under 10 minutes. The reason why is if they bathe for longer than that, the skin actually starts to lose moisture. So keep your baby's baths under 10 minutes. And so my very favorite product for this, for locking in that moisture, is this Aveeno Skin Relief Repair Cream. It's for intense moisture. Now, the reason that I got this is because it's for me, but they have a pediatric version, and that one is a really good one. Um, this one has ceramides in it. So ceramides, they reinforce the skin barrier, and they help lock moisture in. They also have um, oatmeal in this, which also increases moisture in the skin. And the National Eczema Association recommends this product for kids. Um, so again, just get the pediatric version of this. And um, I also checked it out on the environmental working group, ugh, the environmental working group website. Um, I like to check out skin products on there. It just kind of goes over all the ingredients, make sure everything is safe in it. So when I looked this one up, I looked up the pediatric version and it gave it a score of three, which on the environmental working group scale is a moderately safe product so um, anywhere from 1 to 10 and 1 is the best so a 3 is pretty good and um, I do really think it helps moisturize a lot it's a really thick product so I don't know if you can tell but it's very thick and so a little goes a long way and um, I really really do like this product of you guys out there have used the environmental working group the skin deep resource whenever I buy a beauty product I always check it out on there because I think they have a lot of really good information so let me know in the comments below and the second product that I'm gonna recommend for a baby with eczema is a product that is going to help with inflammation now the product that I am going to reach for is going to be a corticosteroid and the one that you can buy without a prescription is called hydrocortisone I would get the 1%, that's available really easily at all of your drugstores, and you can apply this twice a day to flare-ups that your baby is having on the face and also on the body. Now with this, it's best to take a break after two weeks um, because your skin kind of needs to relax for a little bit so it doesn't get too used to using those corticosteroids. And it's really effective and it's totally safe for babies, so twice a day on the areas that are having a flare-up. Now, another thing that I have heard about lately is some dermatologists are actually recommending um, patients who have lots of flare-ups, they can actually use the hydrocortisone preventatively and they can use it once or twice a week on the areas that they're prone to having flare-ups. So that's another way you can actually use the hydrocortisone for hopefully preventing future eczema outbreaks. There you have it. All you really need is a really good moisturizer and a corticosteroid and you are set. Hopefully you guys received some sort of benefit from this video. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next week for another video.